Hey everybody and welcome back. I have got a great breakfast idea for you for Christmas morning. Something simple and easy you can put together then put in the refrigerator and just bring it out on Christmas morning and put it in the oven. Whether it's going to be the meal itself or a part of a large Christmas breakfast, Cracker Barrel Hash Brown Casserole is amazing. Let me show you how easy it is to make this classic. And my ponytail's gonna be going up. So let's get to cooking. And this is one of our family favorite breakfast recipes. It's so easy to make and make ahead and cook the day of. So come on along, let's get cooking. Hello family and friends, I'm Susan and welcome to my home. And we are going to be making some Cracker Barrel hash brown casserole. I thought I would give you a little idea of something to make Christmas morning. You can go ahead and put this together, put it in your fridge, and then all you have to do is pop it in the oven right before everybody wakes up, give enough time to cook, and then you'll have a good breakfast. Or at least something to go with other things in your breakfast. I've got one stick of salted butter. I'm gonna do half a cup of, un of uh, chopped onion. I have one can of cream of chicken soup, uh, one pint of sour cream. I'm gonna be doing two cups of cheddar cheese. And of course, this is 30 ounces of hash browns, which is, it actually costs for 32, but I figure this is close enough. And I'm going to spray the 10 by excuse me, the 11 by 14 pan, which is what I've got right here, and then start putting everything together in my huge mixing bowl. Y'all know I've got it. So let's go ahead and get started on getting this prepared. And I'm going to go ahead and spray the pan with the canola oil. There we go. So it's all nicely coated so it'll come out easily. And then let's get everything started in the mixing bowl. And I'm going to go ahead and melt the butter in the microwave, and then we'll start assembling. And we're going to get this going pretty quick and easy. I'm going to go ahead and put in the half cup of uh, chopped onion. I'm going to go ahead and put in the can of cream of chicken soup. And this recipe is actually really easy. It just is almost a dump and go. All you have to do is melt the butter, which I'll show you here in just a second. You're going to do 16 ounces of sour cream. And basically I'm getting all of the regular and cold items such as the sour cream in there because I have had to heat the one stick of butter and it will help melt all the rest of it. That way we can get it all mixed together. And here is one stick of butter melted. Pour that in. I'm going to go ahead and stir this around a little bit. Get this a little bit mixed up. And I'm going to switch out spatulas, get the little bit larger one. This one fits in the cans really easy. The bigger one doesn't. All right. Now I'm going to do the two cups of cheddar cheese. Put that in there. And basically just mix it around also. And I have had these hash browns out here defrosting, so they would be able to be separated easily for probably about two hours or more, just to get them where I could separate them out. And this is, I don't know if you can see it, where's it at? 30 ounce bag of variety hash browns, or shredded hash brown uh, potatoes. Go ahead and put that in there also. All right, now, Got to get them all separated out, and I'm just going to fold, go around the bowl, and fold the stuff that's in the bottom up with the potatoes that are in the top, until I see that all of the mix is incorporated into the potatoes, which you'll see here in a minute. It'll all come together really quick. This is so easy and so simple, and then you can put it in the fridge and then put it in the oven Christmas morning. It does take about 50 minutes to cook, I'll tell you that much. But 
It is so good. Now, do you see how that's pretty much mixed in? Let me go through the middle one more time. Make sure it's got a lot of the white in it. That means the sour cream and the cheese is all mixed in. And it is. So now, I need to put some salt and pepper in it. Mix it one more time. Mix it through there one more time. And now, let's get this in the baking dish. I don't know if you can see, but there is a little boy right there wanting to know what mommy's cooking. He doesn't even smell anything yet, but he knows I'm in here doing something and he might get a bite of it. And he might be kind of right. So, I've got my 11 by 14 dish. I've got it sprayed. I have the hash brown mixture right here. And we're going to just basically put it into the dish. There we go. All right, now I'm going to basically mash this down to where it's almost all level. That way it can cook evenly. And you'll see me turn it around. That way I can get to it really good. Yeah, this is something I love making. I don't make it often because I usually don't have enough people to eat it. And we have lots of leftovers for Danny and I. But this is something I feel like your family will really enjoy. And this, if you have enough time to make it, is also not a bad side dish for a supper night. Which is what we're having it for today. That way I can get it to where y'all can see what I'm making. I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of the sharp cheddar cheese on top. This is definitely not a diet meal, which I hate to say most uh, comfort foods are not diet foods, but that's okay. It's holiday season. We all deserve a little something good every now and then. And my husband and I don't get out enough to go to Cracker Barrel to get this. So I make it at home because it is so good. All right, and now it's ready to go in the oven. The oven has been heating up at 350 we're going to put it in. It says 50 minutes. I am going to look at it at 40 just to check. It says until the top is brown and we'll see. I'll check it at 40. Let me turn my timer on and get this in the oven. And here is the hash brown casserole now that I've got it out of the oven. As you can see it's nicely brown. I believe it's done all the way. I have let it in for about 45 minutes right around in there. Um, I did turn it around at 30, so it wouldn't be overcooked on one side or the other. So let's go ahead and get it plated up and see how it looks. And that is the hash brown casserole. And it is so good. I've already took a bite of it. So easy to make. Such a good Christmas breakfast that you can put together, put in the fridge, put it in the oven for about 50 minutes, and then you got this awesome thing. You can cook it a little longer if you wanted a little bit browner on top. I kind of like it the way it is. And tonight, we're actually serving it as a side with pork chops. So there's the pork chops. And there is the hash browns. And this is what we have tonight for supper. But the hash brown casserole is good no matter what time of day. So, here we go. An awesome, quick, easy, throw-together recipe that you can cook in the morning, have it ready for breakfast, or do it as a side in the evening. Cracker Barrel Hash Brown Casserole. It is amazing. I hope you enjoyed this family favorite breakfast recipe. And please like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos.